Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are doing good. Let's start with the subject history. In the previous periods, as you know, explanation is done of chapter number seven, that is India during the Maurya period, and chapter number eight, states after the Maurya Empire, and in civics. Chapter number three, rural local government bodies, is done. Yes, notes are also been given to you through PDF. Make sure you complete it. Okay. So today we are going to do history revision. Let's start. History revision. Question number one. Choose the correct alternative. First, Dash was the governor of Takshashila and Ujjain. Your options are Chandragupta Maurya, Bindusara, Ashoka. Second, Harshvardhan was a follower of Dash. Your options are Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism. Third. Dash appointed satraps to administer conquered territories. I repeat, Dash appointed satraps to administer conquered territory. Your options are. Daryush, Seleucus, Alexander. Fourth, Banabatta was the author of Harsha Charita. True or false? Fifth, Ashoka crushed revolt at Dash. Your options are Takshashila. Ujjaini, Patali Putra. Sixth, the Dash tribals came to India from Central Asia. Your options are Huna. Kushan, Indo Greek. Seventh, Harshvardhan was a follower of Jainism. Your options are. True or false? Thank you. Eighth, the Dash King Alexander 
invaded India in 326 BC? Your options are Greek, Iran, Egypt. Ninth, the dash presides over the meetings of the Gram Sabha. Your options are Sarpanch, Gram Sevak, Village Patil. Tenth, Dash is the assembly of the people living in a village. Your options are Zilla Parishad, Gram Sabha. Eleventh, the chief executive officer of the Zilla Parishad is appointed by the dash. Your options are state government, local government, central government. Students, for the second unit test, you have chapter number 7, India during the Maurya period and chapter number 8, states after the Maurya empire. You have two chapters in history and one chapter in civics. In civics, you have chapter number 3. Rural Local Government Bodies. Okay. So for the second unit test, you have three chapters for your paper. Two in history, one in civics. Okay, students.